Hi everybody, Levi Clay here and today we are looking at the import audio feature in Guitar Pro 8. This is an incredible new feature in Guitar Pro 8, it wasn't present in Guitar Pro 7 and actually for those of you that follow my channel for a long time you'll know that I wasn't the biggest advocate of Guitar Pro 7. I thought there were a lot of things that could have been improved, could have been fixed in there. I never had any sort of arrangement with Guitar Pro 7 but I do have a link in the description where you can pick yourself up a copy of Guitar Pro 8 and it is an affiliate link so getting your software and getting that cheap upgrade deal is the time to do it is now and it of course supports the channel when you do it because I genuinely am very very impressed with this software. Now I'm going to be doing a series of videos looking at some of the new features in Guitar Pro 8 and talking about how you can go about implementing them. Some of them are going to be useful for you guys as learners some of them are going to be uh, useful for me in a kind of more professional setting and for some of you guys out there that are looking to do more professional transcription work there's definitely a lot of cool features but today we are looking at that import audio feature so i have a little transcription here for you i'm gonna cut over to it now and let's look at how this import audio works it's genuinely very impressive here we go so what i have here is a secret transcription from an upcoming book project uh, let me just play it for you so you can get a feel for what we're looking at. It sounds like this. You get the basic idea. I'm sure you might be able to guess who this potentially might be. Now this, I made this transcription in Guitar Pro 7, but now I'm working in Guitar Pro 8, I can start using some different tools to help with the learning process. So the biggest feature that has been introduced in Guitar Pro 8, of course, is the um, is the audio uh, functionality. So if I go over here into View, I can come down and click on Show Audio Track. When I click so Show Audio Track, I can now drag and drop an audio file into it. Now check this out. If I drag the transcription in here, now we can see audio at the bottom of our guitar profile. Now if I, uh, let me just, isolate it so we can just hear that now this is this is what that audio sounds like but of course that's not synchronized with the transcription at all so what i can do is i can actually shift where that transcription falls so if i click this button here and i, I can then drag this transcription back to get it to line up now if i look at the audio I guess uh, what I'm going for is where does the guitar come in? So it's this note here is, is where this transient falls. Uh, so if I drag this over to that transient, that's locked in place now, okay? Check this. Now we can see the transcription lines up, okay? But, the trans but it won't be perfect at this point. In fact, if I zoom out a little bit, you can see that actually over time, because of fluctuations that tend to happen when you're playing in a live setting like this, uh, the audio is going to go a little bit out of sync, just a little bit out of sync. So the way we can get around and deal with that is if I zoom in on this, maybe not that much, we can actually see uh, where the transients start to fall out of time. So for example here, this transient isn't quite on that beat. Now, when you're doing this, it doesn't need to be completely perfect. But what's going to happen when you do this is it's going to start to line everything up with that, with those new markers that you've put in, to perfect the uh, the audio. Now, the way this, uh, by default, corrects the transcription is it's actually time-stretching the audio. Now, we wouldn't want that. We wouldn't want to time-stretch the audio uh, for something like this. We, we, we would want to uh, have the transcription uh, change based on the on the uh, audio markings that we've put in. I'm just doing a few more of these just so you can get the basic idea. That will do. Okay, so now this should be lined up a little bit more. Now what we can do is we can go over into this settings section here and we have two options. We can either create sync points from the score tempo automations. So if you put tempo automations in your transcriptions, you can bring those over to your audio file and then that will time stretch the audio file. Or we can create the score tempo automations, which is what we've just done, to create uh, the sync points in the score. Now when I do that, this happens. Now, this looks messy, but if you give me a second, we can remove all of these automations. That's going to look like this. Now we've got a nice, clean, tidy score. And when I press play on this, the audio is going to be matched perfectly with the transcription. I should actually say the other way around. The transcription will match the audio now. Now, 
But better than that, I've currently just got the audio playing. If I turn that mute off, we can now hear both the guitar profile, the, the guitar audio that we have from the program, playing over the top of the original recording. That sounds like this. Now, using the master feature down here, I can then... Uh, adjust the focus of that particular track so I can turn it up what's that what that's essentially going to do is bring down the volume of everything else or in this case the backing track or make the backing track quieter and the guitar profile louder or I can bring it down to do the opposite it'll bring the guitar profile down and turn the backing track up uh, that will sound like this so if I press play on that <laughs> Now, of course, we should know that we can start using these things as part of our own practice tools. If I click and drag, now we've got a perfectly synchronized audio file with our transcription that will loop. which is pretty cool, but it gets cooler than that because, of course, we can come up here and we can change... Sorry, I should move my face a little bit for this, shouldn't I? We can come up here and we can click Change Relative Speed. Now, when I change the relative speed, I can bring this down to maybe 80% speed. And now when I press play on that, everything will have been slowed down to 80% speed, including the track, including the audio. So... And you might find, oh, okay, well, the guitar's a bit loud. Again, I'll bring down the mix. Absolute perfection, and you can bring this down as much as you want. I could bring it down to 50% speed, not a problem. Let's pick a different part of the transcription. Let's play this part. absolute perfection it genuinely is very very impressive what they've managed to do here so that's the functionality of the audio track and syncing an audio track as part of your transcriptions uh, i'm genuinely very very impressed with how that works and i can see so much future potential for educational products for transcription products that can be released by artists or for study tools if you have a transcription of something that's already a great transcription you can then import your audio file in there and sync things up it's a totally achievable thing very impressed they have absolutely knocked it out the park with this one um, super super impressed so please do consider checking out the link in the description so you can get your hands on the latest guitar pro software guitar pro 8 as i said in the start i i for the entirety of guitar pro 7 i told people not to buy it i wasn't impressed with what they did they didn't take on board things that i thought could be improved upon but they've done a great job making this a lovely piece of software that i'm happy to recommend and while I didn't have any affiliate scheme for Guitar Pro 7, I absolutely have one for Guitar Pro 8 because you should have this. It's a great piece of software. I'm sure you're going to enjoy it. Check out that link in the description. Lastly, I just want to say a huge thank you to all my wonderful supporters over on Patreon. I could not do this content without their kindness, love and support. So thank you very much. Uh, I guess I could start going back through all of my transcriptions and now making them Guitar Pro 8 uh, friendly because I could embed the audio into, into these files now. So when you open them, the audio would already be in there. Incredible. Uh, so join us over there if you want to do weekly guided practice routines or weekly guided ear training sessions or just get access to my um my private socials you can also check out one of my books got lots of them available on amazon i'm sure you will find something that you enjoy if you have any questions please do feel free to let me know in that comment section below hit that subscribe button and i will see you for more guitar pro 8 videos very soon goodbye